The decision to establish Māori wards on the Taupo District Council has meant the introduction of two new seats at the local governance table. Mayor David Atriwivis says the whole community will benefit from council working more collaboratively. 2022, exciting times, you know, the addition of two uh, additional uh, council seats um, to um, the uh, Taupo District Council and of course the Māori uh, Māori seats, uh, we have a Taupo North and a Taupo South as it were and uh, looking forward to um, some wonderful candidates coming, coming through um, to sit around the table, the top table and make uh, decisions uh, uh, you know, uh, with the council, whether it be finances, uh, topography, all sorts of uh, resource consents, that sort of thing. So exciting times for the Taupo district, that's for sure. Three-term councillor Tonganui Kingi has been a keen advocate of Māori wards. He says the wero or challenge is there for those who want to be involved in local governance. Over the years we have been underrepresented, so I think this this um, this allows a, a, a pathway, a process for more whānau to be at that table. Uh, it's not to say they can't um, um, uh, stand in a, in a general seat, but certainly uh, the establishment of the Māori wards gives um, gives them an even greater chance um, of being able to um, stand and hopefully be successful in, in uh, one of the two seats. So yeah, it's um, it's uh, it's a good another step in our in our journey. Tree with us says the council's partnership with Tu Faretō Iwi will only get better as they move forward to give us setting an example for other district councils. Well, we've always had a memorandum of understanding, which has worked uh, uh, really well. This will just bring us closer, closer once again. And you might have seen recently we uh, uh, we uh, um, are currently negotiating with Tu Faretō to to build our new office block. We uh, Tu Faretō own the building, and the council, district council, the people of Taupo will. Lease, lease the building off them. You know, uh, examples like that is just coming to the fore, and and that's uh, you know uh, both parties have got such wonderful opportunities. So let's use them. The rest of the country and I look at Taupo to say what a progressive, modern district we are, and uh, the, a lot of them are envious. So you know, I'm pretty proud of how we've got all this together. But it's been a complete teamwork and uh, lots of negotiations and um, that's, that's how it all works in the end so we can, we all want the best for this place and we, we love this place so uh, let's, make, let's move forward together. Māori wards were the subject of much pushback from lobbyist groups including Hobson's Pledge who gathered enough signatures last year to challenge the council's decision. But Kingi says it's a fairer system and more in line with the principles of the treaty. You need to be at the table to be able to be effective and to have your voice. Um, um, and, and it's about as simple as that. Um, if you ain't there, then <laughs> you're not there. So this is an opportunity for whānau to participate uh, as a elected member um, who holds the same rights and responsibilities as any other elected member in the general ward. Because once you are voted on, even though you've you you um, are voted on uh, through the Māori electoral roll is that you still represent the whole district and so I think there's a need for our whānau to just be aware of that and what that means you know we still we still do what we do but it's an important consideration uh, and what they will bring to the table is a Māori ward view. Nominations will begin later this year before local elections in October. Delilah Faitari, Local Focus.